Good evening. So I just got back home from my grocery shopping and for tonight I would be discussing with you the grocery that I did in Lidl. So they said that Lidl is the cheapest supermarket here in the UK. That's why I uh, you know, went there and then tried it myself. So far I've been happy because there are a lot of options. The supermarket is bigger than the one in the Tesco Express. Of course, it's just the Express. There's another Tesco that's bigger. Definitely, Tesco is bigger, but I've been only to the Tesco Express. So for Lidl, I would say it's pretty cheap, but um, it's up to you how to compare the prices from Tesco Express to Lidl. So let's get started. Okay, why don't we start with the meat first? So the problem here in the UK is that there are a few options for seafood. I've been wanting to eat fish for a long time now, but it's really expensive. But this time I tried getting one, which is the salmon. Here, salmon. And uh, these are actually just two fillets. So I think it will be enough for me. I also got something for pork chop. It's a pork loin steak, so I could definitely uh, use this to marinate. Um, these are like four pieces. Next one is the minced beef. And there are like several um, several options that you can choose from. Uh, if you only want 25% fat or 12% fat, stuff like that. Of course, the less the fat, the more expensive it's going to be. I also took sausage like um for my sandwich and this is already like uh there are actually a lot if you can see that and also i took bacon the chopped ones because i, I really love pasta so i would be needing that for you know depending on my mood if i want to have pasta i think that's the only thing i got for the meat um because i still have some chicken in the fridge um what else? I still have my pork chop in there. So this grocery that I bought um, will be, hopefully will be good for two weeks or maybe more. So moving on, let's go to the vegetables and fruits. Of course, I wouldn't forget my lettuce because I really love salad. I have here tomatoes as well, but I bought the smaller ones. Of course, I wouldn't forget my banana because sometimes when I don't feel like cooking, I always just eat banana so yep. have some apples with me these are like just um, five pieces and it's a British apple British brave burn apple whatever that means but I'm gonna try that seedless grapes I didn't take the one with the green grapes because I really don't like that so love this for my salad Oh, sorry. For the meat, I also took meatballs. This is like 12 pieces of meatballs, you know. I can just uh, mix this with spaghetti or I can just like mix it with rice, you know, and sauce. Also have here rare white onion. And uh, I only took three of them because as you can see, they're too large. I, I wasn't able to see smaller sizes. Eggs, of course. 12 pieces it's something that you know I can cook for my breakfast lunch or dinner it doesn't really matter because I love eggs next is um, I, I didn't really buy any junk foods because I still have some in here and I don't really eat a lot of that so what I took was um, bread medium sliced bread it probably probably this one is gonna be too much for me but I can, you know, just um, use some for breakfast. I'll, I'm gonna make a French toast. Uh, and then in the afternoon, maybe I can do a sandwich, like a clubhouse sandwich. So hopefully I can finish all of this in like one week. And again, just in case I'll feel lazy in cooking, then I can just have some cheese bread. So these are like four pieces and the serving is really big. Um, yeah, but hopefully it will taste good. Okay, this one I wasn't intending to buy, but I saw it 
and I really love Mexican food. So this is a Mexican style rice. So I'm not really sure how to cook this. I think you just need to put it in the microwave and voila, you're gonna have a Mexican rice. Have I told you that I love spicy food? So I brought this chilies. Oh, you see that? <laughs> Another thing is chili flakes. So I can put this on my pizza, just in case. I bought honey for my pancake because I still have some in here. So this is definitely going to be useful. And sometimes I can put, even put this in my tea or coffee because that's what my mom used to do for me before. I also bought tuna. Um, I think this is the only canned good that I bought because as much as possible, I want to eat fresh meat. So this one is going to be useful for my salad when I want to do salad because um, I really love tuna salad. Usually in the Philippines, I would use century tuna, the spicy one, because it really goes well with my salad. But unfortunately, I can only get century tuna in Asian stores and it's really expensive and it's far from here. Not really too far, but I, you know, I need to walk a few miles before I can get there and I just don't think it's worth it. So. <laughs> I just took this and hopefully it'll taste good. Shadow cheese for my um, for my sandwich and also I'm uh, I'm planning to do quesadillas, light mayonnaise because I'm planning to do an egg sandwich, so I'll be using this. Why do I keep on explaining what kind of meal am I gonna do with all of this stuff? I also bought yogurt. But this one are flavored. Um, I usually would want to get the plain yogurt. However, the only one I saw there is a Greek yogurt, which is too sour for me. So I'm gonna try all of this. This is like peach, apricot, and mango and passion fruit. So for this is good for dessert. And the serving is just like too small. Juice, of course. Um, I haven't tried this kind of juice, but there were there were very few options in there anyway so this is the only orange juice that i saw and hopefully it will taste good as well of course my british milk this is like four pints so that's a lot right two liters more than two liters i still have actually a bottle of milk in the fridge but i took this because i always drink milk especially when i'm having a hard time defecating so this is gonna be really useful I can also use this to like when I when I want to do a french toast yeah I took a sunflower oil or a cooking oil because I'm running out of it and um, again I haven't tried this but I took the one liter because this is the only one available there's one that says vegetable oil but I don't really use that because I don't like the smell of it when it's used for cooking so I'm gonna try this and for um, kitchen materials I got here dishwashing liquid I saw one um, the one that's popular the name is fairy but I don't know why I took this actually I guess I just love discovering things so I'll see if, uh, if it's gonna be good a trash bag so guys this one is really needed here in the UK because we take the trash seriously <laughs> uh, that sounds funny I mean, we do have to segregate our trashes in here. So there's degradable, biodegradable, and then there's one for food waste. I think I'm gonna be doing a separate vlog for that. So you would become aware of it. I'm running out of the deodorant, so I saw this. It's uh, called Sien or Shen. Um, I usually use the Nivea, but I didn't see one. So I just took this and it's pretty cheap. And I don't wanna go to another shop because I just feel lazy to go from one shop to another. So I'm hoping that this is going to be useful. <laughs> Guys, coffee, of course. I love coffee sticks because I haven't had the chance to buy my own coffee machine yet or a coffee maker because I really wanted to save and I'm trying hard not to waste my money for stuff. Um, I know I'll be needing the coffee machine because you know I use coffee every day anyway. I don't know. I, I just don't feel like buying it um, for now. It's just like in my Amazon. It's added to my cart, but I haven't really bought it. So 
I'll, 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 I'm still contemplating if I'm gonna buy that. But anyway, so this one is a Bellarum Gold Latte. I haven't tried this. I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna let you know if it's if it tastes good. And I've been looking for a diffuser, but um, I don't wanna buy the one from Amazon because you know as much as possible I wanna buy something that's cheaper than that. The one in Amazon that I saw is like 19 pounds or 16 pounds, I'm not sure, but it already comes with like five oils. But you know, um, yeah, I'm, again, I'm still contemplating if I'm gonna buy that, it's just added in my cart. But in Liddell, I saw this reed diffuser, this one. So far, I can smell it. I started using it already as soon as I came home. And this is it. Isn't it nice? Nothing really special. It's just that, you know, sometimes you want to make your room pleasant. Mm. It smells like lavender. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you, I know this is like not um, related to grocery, but I saw these cards in the card section because, you know, it's Mother's Day and two of my flatmates are both mothers. So I thought about buying a card for them. Of course, they don't know it yet, but I'm going to give this to them tomorrow. Hopefully, they're going to like it. It's just a simple gesture of um, appreciation for moms. I myself is a mom, so I know how it feels to be away from the family, from kids, right? So hopefully they'll like it. Alrighty, so that is all. I hope I was able to give you an insight about the prices in Liddell. It's up to you if you're going to decide that it's cheaper or it's the cheapest supermarket, but so far I've only shown you um, Tesco Express. On my next shopping spree, I'm gonna go to, I think I'm gonna go to Asta because they said it's also um, cheap in there, but definitely Liddell is cheap, the cheapest. I don't know, I, I really don't know because um, I, I, I haven't been to Asta yet, but I really hope this has been useful. Um, again, for you to have an idea how much does food cost in here, the meat, um, bread or whatever, and uh, if you have any questions or recommendations for my next vlog content, then don't hesitate to message me, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye.